we've got EPL match day five coming up this September the 21st. Big slate, eight fixtures over there in England. I've got three of my favorite players to talk about. They all go off 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for those of us across the pond. So let's get right into it here. First one, we've got the Brentford Bees traveling to the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Tottenham have a great win rate when they are playing at home against teams outside of the top six. It's even better when they're playing teams outside of the top ten. Nine and one last season. One and oh to start this year. Brentford Bees fit the bill there. They're currently ninth in the table, but they benefited from playing Southampton, who is a bottom-ranked team, and Crystal Palace, who is in the bottom five. Brentford Bees will end up finishing in that bottom 10, quite plausibly in the bottom five again. And they are typically pretty poor on the road. Last year, they had 12 losses in their 19 away games. So the way I'm going to get in on these Tottenham Hotspurs is take their money line. It's so minus 190. I'm going to pair that Tottenham Hotspurs money line with their team total corners over 4.5. They are averaging 10 corners a game this year. And they have only failed to go under 10 corners in one game against top-ranked Arsenal. When they have a possession edge of 10 or greater, they tend to fly over their corners. Corners are set at an over 7.5, but you tease that down to a over 4.5 team total corners for the Spurs. Pair that with your money line, and you get a pick them a minus 115. I quite like that play. <clears throat> All right, so match number two during this 10 a.m. time frame. We've got the Wolverhampton Wanderers traveling to Villa Park to take on Aston Villa. I like Villa here. They're a similar price on the money line as the Spurs in a minus 190 or thereabouts. Villa's been good this season. They are they have three wins in their four games. Wolves, on the other hand, three losses in their four games. Now, my one worry about Villa here is they did play a midweek Champions League game, but they took care of the young boys from Switzerland. Pretty easily. It was 3-0. I don't think they'll look awful leggy in this one. And the way we get that juice out of the price here is we pair Aston Villa money line with the over one and a half total goals in the game. Villa have scored two or more goals in all three of their victories. And the Wolves, on the other hand, are the second worst in when it comes to conceding goals in this league. In all three of their defeats, they conceded two or more. Aston Villa money line and over 1.5 goals gets you a minus 125. I think Villa runs away with it here. That looks like a bargain by the time the final whistle is blown. Fixture in this 10 a.m. time frame. We've got the Bournemouth Cherries traveling to Anfield. They're going to be taking on Liverpool. And we've been back in Liverpool a lot this year. It's worked out pretty well. And we tend to like to back them in the exact same way every time, targeting Liverpool and unders. Liverpool are coming off their first loss of the season, and it came at home at Anfield. That's not going to happen again. Uh, this is a team that will bounce back here in this one. And as I said, the way we get rid of that minus 350 money line price tag is by looking towards unders. All four Liverpool games have seen three or fewer goals this season. I don't think this one will be any any. Uh, you know, any exception, as I expect they keep a clean sheet. They've kept a clean sheet in three of their four games. I've got Liverpool 2-0 or 3-0 in this one. And you can get Liverpool money line and under four and a half goals at a minus 130. I think that that is really going to look like a bargain. Maybe they run up a score and it's 4-0. Maybe they concede and it's 3-1, but all those score lines still get us paid. So Liverpool money line and under Four and a half goals to be scored in a, in the game at a minus 130. And that is going to wrap it up for us on this EPL match day five. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. Appreciate everybody's support. Do please hit that like button if you enjoy the show. 
And don't forget to subscribe. We've got a bunch of great content. NFL Prop Shop just dropped tonight. We've got Ramon Scott tomorrow morning with the Steam Report. So I hope to see everybody soon, and thanks again.